in this video I like to show how to go through the full process of editing a video starting by importing it into Movie Maker, doing some nonlinear video editing, finally exporting out a new video, uploading that video to YouTube, and then after the videos on YouTube I want to embed that YouTube video into a WordPress blog. So I'm going to start out with, with Movie Maker. If you have Microsoft Windows you probably already have Movie Maker. The uh, latest version of, of Windows has, uh, they've adjusted the way it's packaged. So if, if you get a new computer with Windows 7, it doesn't have Movie Maker. Just go out to Google, uh, do a search on Google for Movie Maker, and it should be the first link. You're looking for a, a site called live.com or microsoft.com. Both of those sites are owned by Microsoft. Uh, and download uh, Windows Movie Maker Live. You can see this link is to the version uh, 2011. And it, it's a free download and you can install it uh, and, and then you'll have a, a built-in uh, nonlinear video editor uh, with your operating system. Uh, the interface is pretty simple. Uh, I've got this big uh, black area which is my preview screen. There's an area on the right where I can upload my video and you can see it says just uh, click here and browse to find a video or I can actually just drag and drop a video in there. Now once I do that uh, some of these uh, menu bar items will turn on. I'll talk about those in a second. So let's start. Uh, I've already made uh, a video. This is video from a uh, Cisco flip camera. So it's uh, high def. It's I have uh, an Ultra HD. So this is uh, I think it's 720p by 1280 uh, and uh, I had students in my class uh, sit and uh, read the, the mission statement from the university. Now the way I can uh, move around here uh, can happen a couple ways. First off I can hit the play button right here. By the way if I hover you can see the space button works as well. Uh, so the space button or the play button turns out you can hit the letter K as well. Uh, the mission of the University of Finley. So you can hear that uh, that video plays back. When it plays, this little line right here, this is traditionally called the playhead, goes back to VCR days where the playhead touched the tape and if you stopped it right at wherever it touched you could literally slice that video and, and then splice uh, splice it and, and add it in. Uh, so this is still called the playhead. I can actually move this and as I move it you can see that the uh, the video is going forward or backward as I move. You can also if I hover here it says the next frame is the letter L or I can click and this will go one frame at a time. Now it's very hard to see if our lips are moving you'll, you'll see that it uh, happens one frame at a time. Uh, or I can hit the letter L. The letter J goes back a frame so I can go back and forth and the letter K in the middle the plays it. Lives. Now in, what, in this particular example what I want to do is uh, I have uh, a lot of students here probably 25 or 30. Each one of the students reads from a cue card. I had them read the mission statement of the university and I want to make a video that has three different students each saying uh, a different part of the University of Finland mission. Uh, so uh, since I'm a guy I'm gonna pick all guys for my video. What I do in class is I have them sit uh, or I have them line up boy girl so uh, there's a boy then a girl, a boy and a girl and if you're a guy you have to make a video that's all guys that way I can see that you've chopped out uh, significant pieces of video to put together a new video. So uh, let's start with our first guy here. Oh, now I, I paused it but I want to back it up just a little bit right before he says something. So here I can see his mouth's closed, he's not saying something. Now what I want to do is I want to cut this video so I can throw away what's in front of it. So what I do is I point to the playhead and I right click and when I do that, there's an option right here that says split the video. 
uh, if you're using uh, iMovie, uh, if you have a Mac, uh, there's a similar program built into uh, OS X called iMovie. Uh, I, iMovie actually has a picture of a little razor blade, so uh, you can use that little tool and you can cut the the virtual film right where the playhead is. Well, if I right click it, I can split the video right there. Now what I can do is I can click this first part, actually I can right click it and tell it to remove. Now look the beginning of my my film, if I hit play, the mission of the University of Finley. So there's my first little segment, uh, the mission of the University of Finley. Uh, I'm going to split this again and I'm going to go find my uh, second uh, person. I need to find a guy. Here's a guy. And I'm going to play this. The mission of the University of Finley. So there he said the first part. I want to throw that away because I've already got that part. So I'm going to split this again and now I'm going to uh, let him say the second part. Is to equip our students for meaningful lives. And I'm going to split again. So now I have a little segment right here where he says just that second part. Is to equip our students for meaningful lives. Here's where the nonlinear part comes in. I can actually drag this up after the first little video segment. So let's go back to the beginning. The mission of the University of Finley is to equip our students for meaningful lives. And let's go find a third student uh, who can do the last little part. Is to equip our students for meaningful lives. So he said everything except the last little part. I'm going to slice. So this is the beginning of what uh, the last line says. And it got up kind of quick there, so I'm going to back it up until I get to the last frame. So there's the last frame he's in. And I'm going to slice this again, move this little chunk all the way up into the third spot. So I got my first person, second person, third person. I should, ha at this point, have the whole thing. The mission of the University of Finley is to equip our students for meaningful lives and productive careers. So at this point I can throw away everything after that because I have the whole mission statement. Uh, a total of 7.95 seconds of video. Now I'm going to put right at the beginning a title. So I move the playhead all the way back to the beginning and I hit the title button. And I want my title to describe what it is people are about to see. So this is uh, the University of Finley uh, mission statement. And I can move this around you know, wherever I want on my screen. And if I look at this, it says it's going to play for seven seconds. That's kind of long. Let's, let's make it about four seconds. So my title is going to be four seconds. There's what it looks like when I play it. And then I have, it looks like three seconds of blank. Well, let's, let's change that. Let's, let's make uh, the, that black background. We have this at four seconds. Let's make uh, the duration of the black part four seconds. So now let's go back to the beginning. Kind of does a little zoom in, cuts into the first the student. Of the University of Finley is to equip our students for meaningful lives and productive careers. So I've got the whole thing. Uh, you can play around uh, with this uh, with this text for the title. Uh, I'm on the uh, zoom in, you can do the zoom out, or I'm sorry, zoom in big it's called. Zoom in small, zoom in big. So uh, play around with that if you want to have it uh, look a little bit different. Uh, but I'm essentially finished with my video editing at this point. I've taken 
uh, three or four minutes of uh, video and I've uh, trimmed it down to about 12 seconds. Now here comes the very first step that's, that's kind of critical to get this to YouTube. I'm going to save my project. So uh, when I save my project, I've, I've got to give it a, game, a name. So I'm going to call this the mission statement. Notice the file extension here, a WLMP. That's a Windows Live Movie Maker project. Note, this is not a movie. It's an edit project. So when I click Save, uh, I've really only saved all of the references to these uh, video edits that I've made on that video that I imported. If you look at YouTube, YouTube will not let you upload a WLMP file. I need uh, a QuickTime movie, an MP4, a WMV, which is the default uh, format that most of the Microsoft products kick out. I need to make a file like that. So the way I do that is I save my movie for my computer. Now it turns out this is a, I used high def. I could even, if I wanted to, do this uh, for a high def display. Uh, I'm not, I'm just gonna use uh, just for my computer. It says uh, it's gonna be uh, 854 by 480. That's fine for me. So let's save it to my computer and let's call this, we're just going to call it the mission statement. I'm going to note where I'm saving this and I save it. Now this is only a 12 second movie so it should export pretty quick uh, and when I'm finished it should ask me if I want to play this movie. So I can either open the folder where it is or play the movie. If I hit play, here's my movie played. The mission of the University of Finley is to equip our students for meaningful lives and productive careers. And you can see this is a WMV file right over there at the top. So at this point, I am ready to upload this to YouTube. So uh, I'm going to go back to my uh, browser, go over to the YouTube page. Now, I am already logged into YouTube. If you don't have a YouTube account, you can set that up for free. Set up an account. And once you uh, have an account, you'll be ready to upload just by clicking on the upload link of whatever movies you'd like to upload. And notice I can actually drag my movies right into this. So I'm going to drag my movie over into this box. Now notice it's, it defaults the title to the name of the movie. A WMV is at the end. I'm going to delete that off. It's not really important that people know what kind of file that was. I could also tag it. So if I wanted to uh, indicate that this was for the University of Finley, if this was for uh, a certain class, I could put those tags in there. I could put a description. If you've uploaded content before, uh, these, are, these are pretty standard uh, kinds of things. I can also make it to where it's publicly available. To get this into my WordPress blog, it needs to be publicly available. I can also change the licensing. So I'm going to change this to a Creative Commons uh, license, just because I, I normally do that. And I have my first uh, link to the embed data. This information is uh, the information I'm going to take over to WordPress to embed my video in there. Now, I've done this a few times and I know because my video was 16 by 9 instead of 4 by 3 these numbers aren't quite right so I'm not going to mess with those just yet it says uh, my upload is finished it's 47 percent uh, through processing once I have my video uploaded then YouTube has to process that video to make it to where people can watch it so I'm going to save those changes that I made and uh, watch this guy until it's completely finished.
I've got over to uh, my videos and uh, this video looks like it's here let's click on it and see so it's it, it's still processing my video so my uh, my video has been uploaded uh, it still says it's processing but when I click on uh, the video I can see that it plays now it defaults to 360 I can change it to 480 because I know that I uploaded 480. So I have my whole video. Now, if I watch the whole thing, at the end of watching it, there is a little link right here that says share. So I click on share, and down here at the bottom, it gives me this uh, YouTube link. Now, I, I could copy that. That would be a link to the movie. So if I wanted to email that link to somebody, it would take them to YouTube. They'd watch the video. But I want to embed this video into my WordPress blog. So down here is a, a little button that says Embed. And when I click on that, it shows me this little snippet of HTML code. Now, if you look at these numbers, you're going to see that they're a little bit different than that initial embed code that I was given and that's because it's figured out that it's a wider shorter a 16 by 9 uh, video what I'm gonna do is I'm going to highlight all of this and copy it and then I'm gonna go over to my blog site I'm gonna log into my uh, blog and I'm gonna create a new post Now, another critical thing is I'm going to uh, switch. Usually when I work in my blog, I'm in visual mode. I'm going to switch to uh, HTML mode. That's because that little snippet of code that I just copied from YouTube is HTML code. And uh, once I have HTML mode up here, I'm just going to paste that code. And that's it. If I publish this page, Now I can go back to my website and I not only have my uh, blog post here, but the video is embedded right in my post. So I don't have to send someone out to YouTube to watch the video. They can watch that video right from my site. Now, if I, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to go back into uh, edit that page. Uh, notice that the, what's there now looks a little different than what it looked like before I published it. That's because WordPress has some sort of script that looks for that embed code, and then it replaces it with what you see here. So don't worry that it looks different if you go back in to edit. Uh, if I wanted to, I could put some text under this. Uh, of course I'm in uh, HTML mode so I might have to uh, put a little bit of code in there update this now if I go back to my page now I've got my little snippet of text that I typed into there so just a regular old blog post except this time I've uh, taken a video, edited the video, put it on YouTube, and then embedded that back into my uh, blog site.